invite you in this place and all across these airwaves tonight, even now, even now, even now. Those of you who are watching right now, my live stream, those of you who are watching across our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, on our website, EmergeLife.org, lift up your hands right now. Take a deep breath. Breathe Him in. Breathe Him in. Breathe Him in right now. Right now. Right now. and I give you glory and I give you honor tonight for who you are, for what you promised to do, for what you have said that you would do. Father, your promises are yea and in you. Amen. Tonight, Father, we call forth the kingdom of heaven into the earth realm. We call forth in the name of Jesus, Lord, your will, your purpose, and your plan. We call it into the earth realm now. We call forth in the name of Jesus. I make declaration in the name of Jesus tonight that your manifested glory, your promises, your will, your plan will be manifest now in the earth in Jesus' name. I call forth a paradigm shift in the name of Jesus. I call forth a change in Jesus' name. I call it forth, and I give you the praise and the glory and the honor now for what you have said that you would do. For tonight, Lord, you are changing things. This is the word of the Lord. At 11.31 this morning, God spoke to me, and he began to speak very Gently, and then he began to speak in a stern, powerful voice. And this is what he said. God says, open your hearts and listen this day to what I say. For I tell you the truth. I am moving. Come before me and stand. Bring your petitions boldly before me this day. For I am moving for you now, declares the Lord. Shout with praise, the high praises unto me. And give me thanks for what I am doing for you. Bring your hearts of love and gratitude before me. And minister to me as I embrace you this day with my unfailing love. I want you to experience all and more that I am. My love for you never ends, and I will show you openly before the nations now how much I love you. Hear me, for what I'm doing now will blow the minds of the world and their systems. I say now to you that are my elect, you will see and experience true kingdom wealth and my ways. I have transitioned you into the new and you will stand in shock and awe as I move for you in great measures. For much, much I am releasing to you now. I bring forth above and beyond what you, can, what you cannot ask, think, or even imagine. Those of you who are mine and have stood in faith during this last season of testing will see the goodness of God overtake you. You will surely see my commanded blessing overtake you and you will stand in all of me. For the times of increase are here. The days of multiplication have now arrived. You will walk in the favor and the advancement of your Father in heaven. For this is the hour of divine turnarounds. 
divine wealth transfers and supernatural debt cancellation. For you will go to bed one way and you will wake up to a brand new dawn the very next. You have spoken of this day. You have heard of this hour. But I say now you will walk in it. For my joy for you has come. And you will rejoice as my hand raises you up into your time of divine increase. For you have waited and you have said, oh, but God when? Father, I need you. When will you move? When will things change? I say to you, I have already moved. And now you will see the manifestation of it. You will see the manifestation of my faithfulness as I advance you into the times of refreshing and renewal, the times of restoration and divine reversals. For I have waited as you have waited for this time to see you, my people, advance and walk in the goodness of their Father in heaven. And I say now, that time has come. For I am overturning the laws in the land I am demoting political powers and individuals in the seat they call theirs. Nay, for I am the one who exalts and I am the one who demotes. I say that day has now arrived. Now you will see those in their arrogance and pride who have shook their fists at me with their words and their actions. They have, and they have had disregard from my ways. And now I say their time is over. There will be many deaths and disappearances. The prideful who have shook their fists at me with their words and their actions. They have had disregard from my ways. And now I say their time is up. Their time is over. There will be many deaths and disappearances of those you see now. Hear me this day. You will see them no more. They have stood in my way. They have devised plots and plans against me, my people, my plans. Their leader, the devil, has used them to delay, deny, and distract my people. But hear me this day, says the Spirit of the Lord. Enough is enough, for I will shake and I will shake, and I will shake, and I will shake, and again I say, I will shake, and I will shake again. I will bring forth the blessings for my own, and judgment for the workers of darkness who have made their decisions of whom they serve. They have hurt my little ones, and they have laughed as they drank the blood of my children. Now they will fear me as they are judged for the blood is on their hands. My rain shall now surely fall. It shall fall now on the just and the unjust. And you will see a shaking and changes in a day. All you see is not true. The propaganda the enemy has produced is to bring fear. His agenda is to distract you from the truth. My truth. My plans that I have for you. Again I say... Guard your ear gates. Guard your eyes from these lies. Focus on me and listen to my apostolic voices. For they hear me and they speak my words. They speak my truth. I say watch now as I shake and I advance and I move with my strong arm. Oh yes, now as the markets will shake. Oh how their pride shall be broken. With a sweeping blow of my hand. Prepare. For I will rattle and I will rattle and I will rattle them again and again, I say. And when I am done, they will look and see that their wealth is gone. They will look and see that their wealth is gone. They will stand in the ruins alone that they have built up with their own flesh and their own arrogance. I will now take it from them and I will release it to my own. Oh yes, they say nothing can touch them. Nothing can stop them. But I say I am God and I will not be mocked. For now they will see 
that they are ants in stature to my weight and my glory. They will drop like flies that they are, one after another, and I will show the world my glory. My God, I feel Him here. For my waves and waves and waves of my glory shall now come. Waves and waves of my divine power. For I am changing all things. I am changing who you see and who you hear from. I am changing the guard in every way. I am doing this. For I am bringing a powerful shift and it comes forth now. Men who have had their plans will no longer be able to function. Their hearts will fail them. Those who say this and that, who have, who have had evil agendas, will find themselves in the beds of the very hospitals that they sent the people into. I say now, I will heal those who have been affected by the workers of demons. I will cause signs and wonders and the manifestations and my supernatural works to flood the streets, my houses of worship, and those whom I can trust. I will touch them and I will bring forth the movement of my glory unlike anything that has ever been seen of or heard before. And the news media will have no choice but to bring forth breaking news as they air it live at their own expense. This will bring forth the advancement of many that I am now elevating to be my voice in this hour. They will say, how can this be? These men and women are, are operating in supernatural power. Look at the dead being raised. Look at the notable miracles that are happening everywhere, opposing the very reports of the doctors and the health workers. I say, I am your healer. I am your deliverer. And as my son healed all as he ministered to the masses on the earth. I say, I am your God and I change not. I will do it again and again and all will be healed. I love my own and I oppose the proud. I am raising up the humble. I say my hand has now come to touch my elect and those who have trusted me in spite of the trials and their darkest times past and before them presently. I will now raise them up with supernatural power and bring forth a paradigm shift unlike anything known to man. I say again, my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways your ways, for I am deeper heights and I am greater depths. So now watch and see as I move in power, advancing my ways and my plan. Watch now as I shift my God. Watch now as I shift all things and bring forth the advancement that I have spoken of in many times past. For that time has now come. Prepare now and do what you must to get ready. Get your hearts and family ready. Cover your doors in my blood and gather up what you need as I give you the resources to do so. Be wise and hear my voice. Prepare, prepare, prepare. For again I say, I shall now shake. Much will come into clarity and view. And the backlash of these events will cause many disruptions. But again I say, hold to me and do as I say. Trust me and hold fast. For I am doing this. It must be done my way. For my way and my plan to be reestablished and the change to occur. Did I not say that in the last days there would be wars and rumors of war? Did I not say that men would rise up in their arrogance to bring destruction and that for my very elect's sake I would cause the days to be shortened? I say keep your eyes upon me and your ears open in tune to what I speak and what my spirit is showing you. For things are changing, says the Spirit of the Lord. The faces of your government in the earth will now change. I will reverse the evil that has been done and bring back my David. A change has occurred in the hearts of those I am bringing back and have brought before and they are now coming back to the forefront but their hearts have been renewed they have been changed they have been brought into a place that they've never been before in me they depend upon me says the spirit of the lord and i say i will bring that new administration now to govern and to lead 
my America. They will, they will do as I say, and this will transpire quickly, says the Spirit of the Lord. So stand and declare my words. Stay on the wall and do not come down, but watch and pray. Tarry and pray. Wait and pray. Praise me. Give me glory. I say watch now for I am moving. Hear the lion of Judah this day as I roar. For the faces of my kingdom are now changing. All is changing. Do not look to the past and say we will continue to do what we know as we have done it before. No, for I am doing a new thing now and I will teach you my new ways and I will advance you into the new of my plan, my purpose, and my will. This is my time and I will move as I have said. Truly, the hour is here and you will know that it has been worth all the wait for the new season that I am now bringing you into. So now rejoice and love me, says the Spirit of the Lord, with all of your hearts. For now you will know of my great love to you, my own, my elect, my children. I am moving and I am moving. Now, says the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord. Somebody begin to give Him praise right now in glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah to the roar of our King. Hallelujah for good is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel you in this place, Father. I thank you. I thank you for the word that you have given. I thank you for the word of the Lord. And good is your word. I send this word forth into the ears of those who need to hear. I send it forth into the hearts of those. And I decree and declare now in the name of Jesus that every word that has been spoken shall come to pass. Every, every promise that you have declared to us, your people, will now come to pass. I give you praise, I give you glory, and I give you honor for what you are doing even now. Hallelujah.